Hi everyone, Marion Emerson here. Um, I'm going to show you, well, from the last two videos I've just done, um, these sort of follow on, um, where I was using, I think I started off, where's my card? I started off doing this one using the Pocket Full of Happiness, um, a Heart Full of Flowers stamp set, which is just gorgeous. And then I, I put on there one of these fabulous sentiments from the ton and the second video i show you how i make those sentiments and then in this video i'm just throwing a quick simple card together for you using those sentiments but i just want to sort of backtrack a little bit because i'm going to do a more colorful one but i decided to do some rainbow ones and look just just blend your inks along in your rainbow colours and look how cute that looks it's so nice so then I decided to do like a monochrome background and how I got this I'll just briefly explain I put my stencil over and I used oops twilight um where's my twilight ink pad twilight brushed it all through and then keeping my stencil in place, I then place my second stencil. So this one is from, well, they're both from Well. This one's called Lots of Bubbles and this one's called Lots of Dots. So I just positioned that over there. So this was already in place. I positioned that over the top and then I went heavier this time with the twilight. So I've got the, the grey on grey. Um, and I just think it, well, one I was thinking when I was doing it, um, a, a lovely friend of mine has just recently lost her Dalmatian, um, Dylan, bless him. And I, I started thinking of that because I was seeing like the spots. And then I started looking at it and thinking, do you know what? You could get away with footballs. So this could be great for like boy cards. And yeah, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a slightly different version. So I've not done it, so I don't know what it's going to turn out like, but we'll see. But I just wanted to show you that because I just think the colours on there look beautiful. OK, so I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to dry my stencil on my trousers because I've just wet it. <laughs> and <clears throat> using my lovely... Wow, super smooth cardstock. <clears throat> I'm going to start picking up some colours. So I'm using Hot Tub, first of all. So let's just pick up the colours there. Let's hold that in position. And then just start brushing it on. And what I love about this is it looks like you haven't done hardly anything. And then you lift it and you're like, oh, actually... I really like that so don't sort of think that it has to be really really deep sometimes the softer effects can look more effective so let me just go through I should have if I was more organized I would have got myself some tape and I would have taped down my stencil to the card so let me just go through here just see what that's looking like. Yep, like that. Okay, so that's that one. Then I'm going to go sea foam. This time I'm going to sort of move it, move it around. So I'm going to pick up some colour there. And again, I don't want to be too heavy or go heavier in places and lighter in other places. But I'm just bringing in some colour. Let's have a look what that's looking like. Oh, I love it. Oh, just moved it. <laughs> Let's just bring a little bit more. You can always like knock a bit off from your blending brush if you're not sure. Oh, look at that. Love, love, love. And then I'm going to go with me, well, one of my favourites, Aquatini. So again, I'm just going to bring that over this side. Pick up some colour. 
I'm just, you can brush it, you can dab it, it doesn't matter. And I generally start on a bit of the solid and then just come off of it. Whereas if you go straight in, you're going to get like a blob and you don't want that. So this is going to be really simple, really quick and hopefully effective because <laughs> I don't know what it's going to look like. It's just in my head. I'm just going to do it the same um, sort of concept as the one I've just shown you. Just getting a little sentiment on there. Oh, I love that. I love that. I'm really, really happy with that. Oh, do you know what, though? Oh, do I, do I, do I? Do I want to? Right, let's just try it. So, I'm just going to see, because some of the ink may be still wet. If it isn't, I'm not bothered. I can just put another bit on. I'm using the um, Wow Halo embossing glitter here. So let's see how much of it has stuck. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay, let's get rid of that little bit. Might need to brush off a couple of bits. So one thing you've got to think of when you're using um, stencils, because all the wow powders are static free, stencils are made from mylar, which is, well, I suppose it's like a plastic, but basically it creates static. So you need to bear that in mind that when you've sort of stuck your stencil down, you are going to get bits of powder stuck there. But that's fine. I should, she says, have a brush. I'm just going to take off just those couple of bits. So this is going to be really subtle because it's just picked it in probably in like the darker places, like the deeper places. I've dropped my heat tool. You probably couldn't even hear me say that. Drop me heat tool. Okay. So let's just. Oh, I like that. Do you know what? The worst thing about doing a video and not preparing fully beforehand what you're doing, because I'm just doing this off the cuff, whatever you call it. I then started thinking, oh, do you know what? There's a there's a powder that Wow do called Disco Ball, which is just amazing. And it's got like chunks of silver in oh it, like a silver glitter it's just beautiful i mean this is lovely it's very subtle but i'm also now looking at it thinking do you know what i feel like i need like a little frame around there just a thin border frame so what i might do is oh just that just goes lovely so i think i'm gonna put this together I'll do a frame probably, I'll see, um, and then I'll take a photo of it and then add that at the um, on the video so you can see what it looks like. But I like that. I've got a little edge bit there. I'm just going to chop. Give me a sec. <coughs> Let's bring in my trusty, trusty fiskers. Oh, there. oh, there's a bit from a video I done the other day. That's halo over the top of black ink. Look at that. Oh, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so I'm just going to take a tiddly bit off. I love that you can just cut tiny bits like that. And then 
let's just put this on here. Double-sided tape. Told you it was quick and simple, but so effective. Look at those colours. Um, using that lots of bubbles stencil, just so so effective. You don't have to spend hours making cards. I I can't anyway. I get bored. But yeah, and I probably should go edge to edge for a better stick, but. Hey ho. Oh, go on there. Let's just get that last one off. And then I can stick this down. Rub a dub dub. Now, do I want it? Do you know what? I might have it that way rather than I like both ways. Urgh. Oh, really annoys me when I like it two different ways. Mm, I think I think I'll go there. Actually, I do most of my cards the other way, so yeah, I'll do it there. So let me just bit of glue on here stick that down whoops and there you go so that's it without a border but um I'll pop up go and get me dies and I'll stick a border on and I'll take a photo of it so you can see what it looks like with a border. So thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye.